Okay, welcome back to the channel, everybody. I've got a really good club to test today. And if you really struggle with your driver and you, but you get a really good success out of your 300, many golfers are like that, then this club I'm gonna test could be right up your street. So stay tuned. We've got a little rocket pocket in our hands here. We'll see how this performs on Trapman and give you obviously my personal feedback of the looks and the performance. And if this is possibly a club that you might put in there as a backup driver. <laughs> and that is absolutely flown out there. Right down that line, pretty much. Okay, there we go. 306 yards, 281 carry. What is the club I've got in my hands? It is a TaylorMade Sim 2 Titanium Rocket 3 Wood. The pocket rocket, as I would call it. That is an absolute flying machine. 300 yards with a 3 Wood. Okay, so what is it? Rocket, we've seen it in the past to be honest, it's a 13.5 degree three wood. So it's like a strong three wood effectively, isn't it? But we've got it in this titanium head. So we do see generally that titanium version of that SIM three wood a little bit more stronger than the traditional sort of SIM two max three wood. So what is the titanium three wood? So basically we've got that V steel sole. Oh, it's got a, a titanium structure there with the carbon. So there's a lot of weight saved there. So the SIM two max is a steel with the carbon. This is now titanium with carbon, so much lighter. So then also now we get an 80 gram metal plate in the bottom, that shiny part, a lot of weight low and forward in the club face. So, you know, getting that ball coming out a little bit hotter with a bit of control of spin for ultimately that little bit more distance on your shots. Oh, and again, that is absolutely stunning. That is up and out and going forward. Very, very similar numbers and identical. So, as I say, many golfers will struggle with a driver off the tee, and they always say to me, you know, I hit my three wood so much straight, and if anything, I hit as far as my driver. You know, obviously we've got a shaft length difference with a three wood in comparison to the driver, so ultimately that's gonna create us a little bit more control. We then got a little bit more loft, haven't we? So loft is obviously easier to try and control side spin and dispersion on the shots. And so if we hit a three wood a little bit straighter with a bit more control, maybe centralizing the strike a little bit easier with the shaft length, then ball speed is going to increase when we, we might see more curvature with the drive, which obviously is going to pull off distance on the actual shot. So the two start to merge quite close together. So this is a shaft length, it's 43.25 in, in, in inches in length. So for me, it's a, probably a quarter of an inch longer than a, a traditional three, which is generally around, I would say around that 43 uh, gram area. I've got in the 10 side blue in an X, which is 75 gram. There's a couple of the options. We've got adjustable hosel in the titanium fairway wood. Sim2 Max normal standard is glued. This is adjustable, so we can change that that um, neck sleeve around. We can add loft, we can close the face, open the face, reduce loft, make it more upright. I've actually got this set in an upright position for me, which just helps me to control that little left to right sort of uh, shot I'm getting at the moment. So really a nice sort of setup for me. Keep the loft as it is at 13.5, keep the face neutral, but just purely a little bit more upright. Looks great behind the ball. You know, it sits very, very square. I like the look of the Sim 2 product, you know, with that carbon top, white front edging. Right, that's a little bit of test of that speed pocket on the bottom of the club. I've struck that very low in the club face. That has come out low because the launch 5.5 degrees, but ball speed 161. Obviously carries dropping because the launch is low, spins low, but you know, 284 against 300, I've lost 15 yards there, but I've recovered it. You know, I think that speed pocket, again, that flex in that bottom of the club, it was straight. It's got out there. It's one of those good, bad shots. Again, I think it's how you feel as a golfer, whether it's going to be a driver or um, a three wood. Obviously, the head size is different, isn't it? You know, driver is the bigger head. And for me, you've got a bigger face to go at, haven't you? So I think I would always keep working with the driver. You've got better um, sort of surface area to hit at. Obviously, a little bit more forgiving than you have with a three wood. So maybe three wood could be a little bit more punishing on those miss hits. See, that's, that's a heel shot and that's, that's peeled. Yeah, that's gonna miss that. Probably going that trap, maybe. A little bit of a low heel strike. Yeah, missed the fair one, that one. It's still got out there, to be fair. Again, ball speed 160, it's really good on that ball speed. Uh, you know, obviously that's straight face with the 13 and a half degrees, but even that miss hit with that weight, that 80 gram plate on the sole forward in the head, it's, you know, CG more forward. We do get some hotter ball speeds. I mean, for me, the, the big winner here is, is 
I love the look of it. Again, you'd be very personal on the look of the SIM product. It sits fantastic square, which I'm quite fussy with in a, especially in that sort of fairway where it doesn't sit close or anything like that. It sits very, very sort of square, but the sound of it is, is really good. I think that carbon, the, the steel in the sole and then that titanium and that carbon really gives it that sort of like nice sort of muted sound. That's a better strike. Just drifted a tiny bit right, but lovely ball flight on that. Might just miss that bunker possibly. Oh, it's just cleared it actually. That was a big carry there. Just got a little bit more launch there. Touch more spin, just kept it in the air that a little bit longer. 273 carries, fantastic, isn't it? You know, it's, it's something that I would sort of test. You know, if you do struggle with a, with a driver, definitely worth having a go with something like this. You've obviously got something like the mini driver, but that's really limited product, limited runs. That's sort of been, and really for us in the UK, is now sold out. So that's been and gone very, very quickly. So this is more mainstream in, in the range. So definitely something to, to consider. I'm just hitting these off a small tee peg because I would sort of see this more as a, as a off the tee club. I struck that well. I mean, if you get the strike, it just goes. It is literally, like this says on the bottom, a rocket. Again, just fractured up that right, but not by much. Again, just clearing that bunker, big carry again there. It's nice, it's, it's a really joy to hit. I mean, I would still want to hit driver. I'm just gonna hit a couple of drivers now just to compare it against that. Right, okay, so SIM2 driver, nine degree, exactly the same shaft, 10 side blue in X. It's the raw, the AV raw, exactly the same as what I've just hit. Obviously the weight difference slightly because it's a driver shaft against a three wood shaft. Just launched that quite high there, actually just hit that slightly high up in the club face. Okay, so we can see there, obviously we're going to see some club head speed increase. You know, this shaft length in driving now is 45.75 inches. That's tailor-made standard. So we're a good, what, two and a half inches longer. So that's clearly going to make a difference of club head speed. And we can see that up to 117 on that shot. So ball speed jumps, you know, around that 160 to 168, as you'd expect. Launch, got the spin in a good area. So you see that carry is up. So it is longer with a driver, but that's really more through that, you know, spin number there is very similar to that three wood, isn't it? Two and a half thousand. So that isn't any different with the nine degree against the 13 and a half. So maybe with that heavy weight in the, in the titanium one being more sort of down and forward, just helping to create that, that slight lower spin with the three wood. Oh, there we go, we've hit that one. That is up and out there. Okay, that'd be an interesting one to see. So again, that club head speed up as we'd expect. Ball speed is 2-2 two, two spin, 295, carry 321. So yes, there is some more distance there with that driver. But then again, you know, I've only hit two shots in there. They weren't bad shots, one up the right, one down the middle. Again, over multiple shots. And I'm not, uh, struggle massively with the driver, but some, as I say, some golfers do struggle with the driver, but they hit the three wood much more consistently. So again, you've got to go and test this yourself. But let's go and check a few numbers out just between that three wood and just that driver there. Okay, so we can see that dispersion. Obviously, I've got a little bit of a wild one with that three wood up that right hand side, two just missing the fairway. It's quite a tight fairway, this to be honest. Um, and obviously, three quite nice and straight, which you'd take two really good strikes. It got me over that 300 mark with that three wood. Obviously, the drive there again, we've only hit two. Um, obviously got to go a bit longer with that shaft length as we said we've got extra club head speed and that extra ball speed so really mainly looking at the three wood here so you can see 109 on that uh, club head speed 161 on that ball speed and very consistent on that ball speed and i did get some different strikes so that one's a real highlighter there that was that low in the face strike you see how low that ball's launched but the ball speed maintained even from those with the better hits which actually got a little bit further so good good sort of retention of, of, of ball speed there especially on that low hit possibly that speed pocket doing its job again that was a little bit of a low heel shot which peeled off a bit up that right hand side i think that's that one i missed a bit further to the right again the ball speed is 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 up there isn't it so retention with ball speed is really good spin for a three wood again we know it's 13 and a half two six is really good okay we've just got a couple of slight higher spinning ones just towards the end there but you know, generally pretty, pretty good. Uh, carry distance averaging at 268 and 296 on a run out. So there's, there's plenty of distance there uh, with that three wood, you know, and maybe just creating that little bit more accuracy off the tee in comparison to driver for certain golfers. Okay, so there we go. There's Sim 2 Titanium. It's a rocket three wood. It's a bit of a powerful one. Love to hear your thoughts as always. Obviously they do offer a standard three wood, which is 15 degrees, 1.5 degrees more loft than this one I've got. 
and I think also they do a five wood in the, in the titanium version as well. So post comments down below, let me know your thoughts. Is that something that possibly you would be quite interested in? You know, do you hit a lot of three woods off the tee, finding more fairways and nearly as much distance possibly as you drive, if not a little bit further? I do hear that quite often. Love to hear your thoughts as always. Appreciate you watching the video. If you've enjoyed it, do consider hitting that subscribe button, share the video around, hit the like button and hopefully catch up with you all very soon.